reporting to you live here in Little Canada at Young Dundas Square. It's live from last week, episode 134. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Laugh From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless book before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today being July 11th, aka 711, I just want to wish everybody out there a happy 711 day. Happy 711 day guys! And so I 7-Eleven this morning. Shortly after waking up and springing off of the couch, I got on the Baby Rouge, the motorcycle, started to make my way downtown, wearing my 7-Eleven colored themed apparel. And just like I did in several of the previous past years, I'm planning to visit a couple of 7-Elevens. But this year, I'm planning to do something a little bit different. Doing this 7-Eleven challenge that I set for myself, Taking advantage of the promos that they have for Slurpee Day today, we'll be visiting seven 7-Elevens today. So let's get on with it and do this year's version of the 7-Eleven Challenge. Guys, we are halfway through the 7-Eleven Slurpee journey. And I've realized I probably should have taken my blood sugar reading before and after this adventure. So let's keep on looking for more Slurpees and raise that blood sugar. Cheers. So after my adventure this morning, hitting my 10,000 daily step total by 10 a.m., walking over 18,000 steps, encompassing more than 10.5 kilometers over the span of the past four hours, hitting up just like LeBron said, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but a total of seven 7-Elevens, and taking in seven Slurpees in that time, I'm feeling pretty thirsty, gotta pee, and also pretty fatigued. Clinical symptoms of all the sugar that I ingested, AKA hyperglycemia. Just kidding guys. Anyways, along my journey, I had a couple of segments that I had pit stops with along the way. Yo Gomes, I'm in your area at the 7-Eleven. Where are you at? Probably at work. Teardrop. Wait a tick. How is that pedal pub moving without there anybody to pedal the pedals? Oh my gosh. After this stop, I had an ate con me in getting some taquitos. Good for you, ate. Glad I can help. Wow, I haven't visited this area since Sully's book signing at this location a little while back. Whoa, so cool. First time seeing a public pickleball court in Toronto. I also saw that there was a throwback Zeller store at the Bay on Queen and Bay Street, which was on the lower level of the store. So I decided to check this baby out. 
with me trying to find this one item that I saw on the storefront display. Yo, I'm getting me one of these. Coming out with this new piece of clothing for the wardrobe. Now before the wife wonders where I'm at, I'm gonna head back home. But not until I throw back to where I was earlier in the day at Trinity Bellwoods Park for our one and only segment, the birthday greetings of the day. First off, we got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends who I'm remembering going to family jams with back in the 90s. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Samantha. Happy birthday, Sam. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who always organizes amazing events on the beaches of Woodbine. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eric. Happy birthday, Eric. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So on a day after we stayed in all night watching the first five movies of the Mission Impossible series, trying to get ready for the new Mission Impossible movie that comes out later this month, and me doing a quick 30 minute bike session on the stationary bike for the first time in a long while, the wife and I actually went on a road trip today all over our great country called Canada, going to a place that I've always wanted to go to in the Young Dundas Square area, visiting the place we know as Little Canada. After a fun time seeing these miniature exhibits and trying their specialty drinks that they have here. Cheers! Sapsucker and what is it? Maurice's Maple Ice Coffee. Oh, so good. Get this if you're ever in Little Canada and get this if you're ever in Little Canada. So sweet but so good. Yeah, so good. I'm recalling one of my favorite things that I've ever done here was to take a time-lapse video of the miniature version of the Rogers Center closing its roof, as well as a time-lapse video of the retractable roof opening just like the real thing. I had also taken a couple of videos that reminded me of a couple of buddies of mine, with this one being from my pal Jagger, which was shot from the Little East Coast section of Little Canada, of his idol, Canadian legend, Terry Fox, and of this video, a miniature golfer golfing from the sand traps, for my buddy Adwabe, which reminded me of the time that he and I practiced golf as well. There was also a game for the visitors of Little Canada to play along with, encouraging them to find a little moose within the displays called Maurice, guided by this checklist full of hints right here, which helped us find Maurice the moose in each and every display that they had here in Little Canada. We also got to check out this future exhibit, which was not quite open yet, but is expected to be open sometime in the next couple of years. Come back here and yeah. <laughs> it's all done. I'll come back here when Little North is all done. The Calloway is over here and alert. Ooh, this is pretty cool. All right, see you in a couple years. Anyways, moving on later in the evening after randomly running into my cousin Jonas on the streets. 
The wife and I headed over to the Etobicoke to check out the beautiful views from the lake shore before meeting a couple of our friends here at a local restaurant to have some Italian food at La Vecchia. Where we enjoyed some delicious drinks as well as Italian pastas and pizzas. With me chowing down on this delicious La Vecchia pizza. Before checking out once again the beautiful Toronto skyline at night from the lake shore. And now back in Scarborough wrapping up the night. We just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my soccer buddies who I used to play alongside with back when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Tony. We next got a birthday shout out to one of the most talented athletes that I know who in high school excelled at basketball and in university in soccer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Monique. Happy birthday, Monique. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember was a big fan of this wrestler when we were younger, of whom I saw pretty recently. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tanner. Happy birthday, Aaron. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This evening, I'm in Saga with the Saga family, spending some time here with the one and only puppy we know as Sesame, but not before having a badminton session with some family and friends earlier this afternoon back at Epic Sports in Scarborough. <laughs> And although we only played four hours today, it reminded me of that five hour session that Elrond and I had a while back, of which I still have battle scars from in the form of my unhealed, bruised toenail. Anyways, before I let you guys go for today, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my university classmates that I remember back when I went to school at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paula. Happy birthday, Paula. We've also got another birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball buddies who I remember playing alongside with back a couple summers ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So doing things a little bit in reverse today, we'll start off this segment with our birthday greeting. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my foreign exchange student friends that I made back in my YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kirsten. Happy birthday, Kirsten. The next birthday greeting goes out to one of my roommates back in YSIC when I lived in 2H. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Van. Happy birthday, Van. Our next birthday greeting goes out to one of my friends that I made back at fourth year orientation during that time at Sick Kids. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Courtney. Happy birthday, Court. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of the biggest bubble tea connoisseurs that I know who has made several cameos on previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, today I've also got some great news that I'm dying to tell you guys 
about. After keeping it a secret because I got waitlisted for tickets for a music festival that I've always wanted to go to, guess who this morning got waitlist approved and is now booked to go to Chicago to attend Lollapalooza. And recalling this scene from the past where I tried to learn some choreo from a new K-pop group that I just heard about, well, this music festival will have that exact group, New Jeans, performing for the first time in North America, of whom we're so excited to see, meaning I have less than a month to learn and practice all that New Jeans choreo, to be ready to see them in concert at Lollapalooza, where we get to see them live. And I've got more spontaneous news to tell you guys about. After making a random eBay purchase this morning, where I went to Mississauga to retrieve that item after I won the auction, I now have a uniform to use while I'm watching the 2023 Toronto Honda Indy. Boom! Shake and bake, baby! I bought this Ricky Bobby Talladega Knights race car driving gear. And after parking the Baby Rouge close to the exhibition this afternoon, and recalling walking on the actual track a couple weeks back, just like I have been doing in previous years past, I'm here on the exhibition grounds to watch the practice sessions on Fan Friday of the 2023 Toronto Honda Indy Weekend. I went off the air with you guys yesterday. I did have a couple of clips from my Fan Friday at the Toronto Indie, of which were some of my favorites. a couple of professional indie racers that I was able to meet. One, two, three. I had also saw the car of the wife's favorite driver live and in person and able to meet yours truly, who just may have left me hanging for a quick second. Can I take a quick photo with you? Okay. Bon chance. Merci. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, gros <girl>, Jean. <laughs> Let's go. But after I got home and showed the wife that exact video, after all these years, she actually told me that he isn't her favorite racer. Oh man, what a mistake. Anyways, before I go in for my first of my schedule of two night shifts tonight, doing a span of four shifts in the next five nights, after having a mini staycation of a record of almost 12 whole days off, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my nephews back in the Philippines. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Johan. Happy birthday, Johan. I'm hoping that you and the family back home are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. After a busy shift working as a team of three on the new unit last night, I got in a short post night shift nap before waking up early to attend Sunday Catholic Mass via YouTube. I then caught the ending of the men's Wimbledon tennis final where it was defending champion Novak Djokovic 
going off against world number one seed, Carlos Alcarez. And after catching match point during a five hour, five set match, I was able to witness the 20 year old Carlos Alcarez win his first ever men's Wimbledon tennis title. Next up on the laptop, I tuned into the event that I was attending in person earlier in the week, where I was cheering on the racers that I met just a couple of days ago. Teammates Colton Herda and Roman Grosjean, both in live race action right here. And after a blistering start of the race, with some of these crashes seen off turn number one, and my boy Grosjean having another disappointing race, this time in Toronto, I saw Herda race a pretty decent race himself, finishing on the podium, placing third for the first time this year. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up the day by catching the Blue Jays game here in the background before going in for my second night shift tonight, which just means I'll have to catch you guys again after my shift tomorrow. So leading off today, we're just gonna start off with the birthday greetings of the day. Starting off with one of my favorite former co-workers who I'm remembering last seeing quite a while ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shri. Happy birthday, Shri. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my cousin-in-laws who I'm remembering is an amazing net player whenever we play badminton. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Christine. Happy birthday, poots. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, on my off day today, where the wife and I started to watch the newest season of this show that we've followed in the past, reminded of the time that I actually met the legendary host of this show, check out who I met on my commute home, is this guy behind us? Look at He's like, is David. Oh, oh, you were talking about me. Oh, sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. John Montgomery, Olympic legend. Ooh, yeah, I like that word. Thanks, man. Cheers, brother. Watching the first couple of episodes of season nine of The Amazing Race Canada. And after that, this evening, after being annoyed for the past couple of weeks of how my hair has been treating me, I scheduled myself to go in for my first haircut in the past couple of months. But unfortunately for you guys, you have to wait until next episode to see how this new look will pan out. Meaning for now, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.